What would it be like if you can stay at home and close your eyes and can actually see a place from another country? What makes it more mysterious is that you never ever visited or saw the place before in your life. Huh. To you it either seems like a joke or you think of me as a guy whose hobby is wasting people's time. But let me tell you something. This capability is already in your brain. It's in everybody's brain. This phenomenon is known as an extrasensory perception, in short, ESP. So what exactly is ESP? According to Wikipedia, extrasensory perception, ESP or ESPER, also called sixth sense or second sight, includes reception of information not gained through the recognized physical senses but sensed with the mind that means people possessing this power would be able to see the unseen they are generally regarded as psychics the esp has nothing to do with the paranormal or the extraterrestrial it's just a simple sense which is only present in human. So why is it so rare in us? I mean, if it's exclusive to human, why neither us nor our family nor our friends experience this? The answer is both sided. Well, they also experience it, but very little and also not experience it. Throughout the human civilization in the ancient culture of Hinduism or Buddhism etc. It was well known and just a normal sense like our rest of the senses like taste, touch, smell etc. But nowadays it has been suppressed on majority of people. In the modern busy world our brain is always noisy. Literally thousands of talks continue in our brain even at times when we are inactive. This noise probably suppressed the ability generations after generations. As always there are exceptions. A very few people still show strong ability to sense this and some of them has been studied on to research more about ESP. Professor J. B. Ryan of Duke University was the pioneer in this field of research. People having the ESP has also helped the CIA of United States in top secret missions against their enemies, probably during the 19th. If you are interested in developing the sense or I'd rather say recovering the sense, you should go for its training programs easily everywhere around the internet. Meditation is the key here and as I already said it's nothing impossible or people specific. Literally anyone can develop it if they try and persevere. Thank you and have fun.